theatre. We'll talk about that in a minute because you're actually here for the theatre. I am. You've done theatre elsewhere, but I have. this is the first time in, in London. Yes, that's true. What is it you're doing? I'm doing a play called The Red Barn that's been written and adapted by David Hare from the George Simenon novel, and it's on at the National, and we opened two nights ago. So it's a psychological thriller. This mm -hmm. is Connecticut in 1969. Two mm -hmm. couples trying to get home in a violent snowstorm. That's Already right. you have been booked. <laughs> Good, well, that's the point, yeah. <laughs> and that's about all I can tell you as well. We're trying to keep it really under wraps because it is such a tense sort of thriller and it's very Hitchcockian and it's very suspenseful, but we're under sort of lock and key and we don't want to give anything away, but it's a really, really wonderful play. Your and reviews? Have you read your reviews? I haven't read them. No, 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 I don't read them. No, 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 I don't. How about Quentin Letts gave the show four stars. He's hard to please. Oh, well, that's good. Uh, he says that uh, Elizabeth catches the cruelly careless sexiness of the beautiful. And The Independent yeah, said the impossibly elegant Elizabeth Becky exudes like an expensive perfume. <laughs> I love that. Oh, that's lovely. I'd love to exude like an expensive perfume. I don't perfume. know how one happens. does that, but uh, that's good to know. Yeah. You've got it naturally, I there think. Yeah, just like, the, the, unfortunately, the pair of us just smell of haze. <laughs> you don't. You smell lovely. You smell a bit like a puppy. But that's <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, yeah, that's true. That is true. Um, and you love coming back to England, I, I do. believe, as well. You love yeah. You've actually got family here originally, I do, yes, you? I do. They're all up in the north. Um, and I haven't I'm yet to see them, but we will visit um, soon. But I do love working here. And I, it's sort of, when I started doing films, a lot of things were shooting here. And I did a Guy Ritchie film here, and then a version of Macbeth that we shot here, and another film, Everest. And so I sort of spent a lot of time here after I finished, finished um, drama school. And it feels very homey to me. And I've been in LA a lot lately, so it's nice to be here. And it feels a lot like my hometown. It feels a bit Well, like I love home. the fact that, is it true that you and the cast sit down and watch the Bake Off? We do, <laughs> we do. Well, it, you know, it's a really, it's a really sort of dark world, the play, and so I think we sort of organically came upon something that was escapism for us yeah. together. Fluffy cakes, and I, nice I'm, things. I'm the hugest Bake Off fan ever since, since you know, years and years ago. I love Mary Berry deeply. <laughs> do you bake? I do bake. Oh, yeah. well, really? Yeah, oh, why so we yes. sort of became quite obsessive about it, and and. It was our little emotional escapism mm. from the world of the play. Yeah. Well, we started off the chat, of course, with uh, with the clip. Uh, you can't go anywhere without talking about that. No. Um, is there going to be another one? I don't know. I oh, come so. on. No, I don't. You know, actors are always the last to know anyway. So. Would you like to do it? I would love to, yeah. I, I, I adored shooting it and I loved it. Everyone on that job. It was such an amazing cast. It Christine is a massive, fantastic. massive, massive fan. Oh, and I love... fancies uh, Hugh Laurie, who was so who doesn't? dark and dangerous <laughs> in there. You. So, so please tell Christine about Hugh Laurie. Yes, please tell me he's wonderful he and really nice wonderful. in real life. No, he's a wonderful, wonderful man. And I was just emailing him the other day to come and see the show, and he's he's really extraordinary. Send him my love, Elizabeth. I you? will. <laughs> I will send him your love. I'll write an email now. And was there much um, uh, laughter on the set with the whole? Hiddle's bum thing when uh, when he had to. Well, we did. We weren't laughing that. when we were doing that scene. I must say that was sort of intense. Quite intense, yeah. Because um, you stayed friends with Tom. I did, yes. So yes. what happened afterwards? Well, we sort of. It's a funny thing to negotiate. You sort of. What What was interesting was I lost track of what episodes were screening. I was shooting a film in Atlanta. And and because I wasn't here, and I had no idea the effect it was having here, and, and it wasn't until I started speaking to more and more journalists on the phone, and and more and more people wanted to ask questions, and I, and one woman I remember speaking to, I can't remember what newspaper it was, she was asking so many questions, and I sort of said, hold on a minute, what what's going on? And she said, don't you know, it's it's a huge thing here, and everybody's <laughs> talking about it, and everybody wants to know what's happening with Jed, and you know, and so. I didn't realise that the the famous now now famous Tom Bottom scene was um, was screening that night, and I was actually the next morning doing radio interviews for it, and someone brought it up. And what was interesting was we sort of shot that scene quite quickly mm -hmm. in a way, like you sort of would hope to a scene like that, and um, efficiently. Uh, and I sort of <laughs> didn't really realise that that was going on in the scene, you know, because... Yeah, 
yeah, while I was the looking at his face. Yeah. Um, you know, so so <laughs> the whole thing was quite new to me, and we did have some humorous emails back and forth. I we, bet. Um, well, you've, you've, you're now heavily involved in the sci-fi genre, so will you come back yeah. and talk to us about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 and the God Particle? I would love to, yes. And, uh, and again, I can't tell anything about them because... Oh, well, don't come back. They're all, no, but I can't watch <laughs> the film comes out, and I can tell you everything about it. Shadow, yeah. yeah. Thank you very much Thank indeed. You, uh, the yeah. Red Barn is at the National until January, and it's uh, lovely to see you. Thank you very much Thank for coming. Thank you. For more of the same, just click here, and don't forget, you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel. How soon after filming did you shave the moustache off? Immediately. <laughs> did you? Immediately. It was impressive there. Is that all your own? Don't get me on there. It took me f three months to, to get to that position. That's very good. I'm a 31-year-old man. It's, it's embarrassing. <laughs> I, I, <yeah. laughs>